Welcome back to the show. We're here with Richmond entrepreneur Allison Carver. She hosts cooking classes for mm -hmm. families who might have issues effectively might. communicating with each other. That translates to everyone, right? Yeah. Exactly. And today she's going to feature our Let's Talk Guac recipe and we welcome Allison Carver back to Virginia this morning. So I had Thank this um, I had this aunt and uncle, this was years ago. He worked in an appliance store. She was a housewife. So every day in the afternoon he would watch a little bit of her soap while he was in the store so they'd have something to talk about Aww, when they got home. Sweet. Yeah, so they could talk about her stories. Um, but now they could have made this guacamole. Like they could have made guacamole and it would have been much better. Way. Yeah. So this is cooking and talking and communicating. Exactly. I find that most couples struggle with communication. They either talk too much or don't talk about the important things. So this is a great recipe to help Guess you. Guess which one I am. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say. <laughs> She's not getting in the middle of this uh -uh, one. Uh -uh. But this recipe is great to get you in the kitchen and just start talking and have a conversation. It's fun. It's three easy steps. And I want to demo it right now so you guys can, can get in there with me and do it together. Let's do it. Okay, so the first step, what you, well, first of all, what you want to do is take your partner into the kitchen. Okay. Decide who's going to be person one and person two. Mm -hmm. That's simple enough. She's one. Okay, so okay, one I'm and one. two. Here yep. we go. Okay. And then person one, what you're going to do is you're going to take two of these avocados and put them into this bowl. Okay, doke. Um, and then person two is going to ask her the question of, let's uh -oh. see, a little note here. Okay. What are three objects you love most and why? So honey, <laughs> what are three objects you love most, other than me, and why? Uh, my six-speed vehicle, because it's fun to drive and it gets me places. Really? That's yes. a good answer. See, you're I learning something already. Yes. Look, at oh, okay. Look at this. I think these days, I guess, love it and hate it, my phone, because it keeps me on time on task, right? Yeah, and definitely. I can take pictures of the fam. That's, That's that. And, yeah. um, you're doing a great job. You are. There. You are. Shelly Thank you. Just two. And talking just at the two, same yeah. time. Yep. I can chew bubble. No, I can't chew bubble gum at the same time, too. And I think these days, it's got to be like the Apple box because it keeps me plugged into some, you know, good series for for escaping when when the days get a little full. Mm. Okay. Good answers. That? That's right. That's okay. good. That's she can good. do two things at once. That's Sweet. very good. Okay, now. So then what we would do is we would switch and then person two would then do the remaining avocados and ask the same question. So both people would answer the same question. Okay. Um, but so unfortunately, we're, we've already done all the avocados. Oh. So well, now we'll switch and I'll be two and you be one, one okay. for the next so now, step. Right. So now the next step, what we're going to do is going to add the remaining ingredients okay. in. So okay. we'll just, let's, we'll just so move she's going to, I'm going to add the ingredients yeah. or she's going to, okay. So, okay. yeah. Okay. And you're going to add the ingredients and then okay. you're going to ask the question. Now okay. you've got, you've got the, the questions kind of build in, uh, in severity intensity? here. Oh, yeah. they get uh, harder uh, yes, go this is good. This is good that Bill got this one. I so now we're going to ask, what is your biggest life goal and why? Now remember real quick Ooh. before we do this, it's important to remember to make eye contact and be listening while you're communicating. Okay, go. What is your biggest life goal right now and why? Not screw this segment up. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and put the salt in and get done on time. So there this you go. Is, so this he's adding, he's adding salt, this cilantro, is just a little bit lime of salt. juice, and, and we, uh, some garlic. All in there? Yes, please. Okay. You are? Oh. Okay. Well, usually there's a little bit more avocado. Okay. In there, okay. So. Fair enough. All right. And then uh, the cilantro. The second is the cilantro. Okay. The <laughs> <laughs> How finely you chopped this great it, sweet friend. <laughs> <laughs> all this good eye contact. Right. Yes. That's great. Now oh, remember, oh, oh no. I was going to try to get this extra one out of here. Can one I? of the things I love about cooking therapy is that it's a lot of fun. And as you can see, we're having fun, we're making a mess. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. We're having a good time and we're talking. And that's really oh, what's important. Uh -oh. oh, thanks, honey. Okay. Something got in there that Something's wasn't supposed afoot. to be in there. Allison, all right. when folks come in to do these classes, yes. these sessions, mm -hmm. Do they know they have communication issues yeah. and or are you having folks who maybe are just trying to stay ahead of the curve? It's a little bit of both actually. I find that people come to me because they're drawn, there is something going on in the relationship, they're having a problem, they might know what it is, they might not. But the other thing that's cool about cooking therapy is stuff that you don't know is wrong comes out in the kitchen. Mm. Because when you're working together on a task like this, if you're not able to communicate or you're not listening or you're not whatever, it's going to come out. So it's a great way to fix what's wrong even before or after you know what's wrong. Sweetheart, mm. I'm putting the garlic in now. How wonderful a job you did at Thank chopping you. it. It's so great, my dear. <laughs> so then step three is a little tip that I like to do when it comes to adding the onion. You can omit this if you're not a big onion fan, but I like to actually grate the onion into the guacamole so you're not getting huge chunks of onion. So we cry the together at the same time. <laughs> Wait, you know what you've set me up for here, right, Allison? You're uh, the onion. Is the yeah. onion. What yeah. a great idea. 
No, I missed it. All right. So then the question three, so then you're moving on. So, so again, you're going to be making eye contact, you're listening, and then question three is, what is the weirdest thing you've done this week? Now, today's Monday, oh. the week's just starting, but do you have anything that's, you know, going on this week that may or may not be weird? What's the weirdest thing you've done this week? Uh, well, I already freaked out this morning because my schedule this week looks a little too intense, dear. So I'm kind of amped up. And this, that's there the you truth. go. That so then, the so now you know you can work through yes. that. You can come up with a plan. Exactly. Okay. That's great. Okay. okay. That's great. I'm now gonna, we're gonna add. In, so I'm gonna stir in the seeds. The pomegranate seeds and the feta. This is a great take on fresh guacamole. It's a little different. Add some color, some flavor. Don't they look weird? They <laughs> I thought they looked yummy, as a matter of fact. <laughs> and again, you would switch two, and then person two would answer the same question. So again, you're walking through this recipe, three easy steps, and you're asking these fun questions. And so when these things come out, Allison, in class, do you end up working to then arm them with the tools or prep them with the tools of, okay, some things have bubbled up to the surface. Yes. So tools for resolution. Exactly, yes. And it's not just dip into the guac. No, no. Well, it's, it's, we can dip into the guac, but then you can continue talking about what you need to do. Like you mentioned, your week is a little hectic. You could use Bill as a support to come up with a way to, mm -hmm. you know, take some of that load off of you. Yeah. Very yes, good. ordering out every night this week would be perfect. Yeah. Does that sound good? It's not in the budget. <laughs> See, you make it. Oh, that it all comes back exactly. to money, exactly. right? So exactly. That's right. So we start to feel those yeah. things come together. Exactly. And so in the end of this, too, you have a great recipe, and you've made this, you've made this, and you can put in any questions you want. When you do this again, you can talk about things that are really bothering you or things that you need to talk about. What a great idea. Yeah. And see, we could cook together and prep something in the crock pot, hun, and then it would be done in advance. Exactly. Right? All about and, time And the saving. secret to this is we're not actually, you know, so we get along great. That's right. <laughs> but you would look it's true. <laughs> you would never know, right? <laughs> We just helped a lot. Ooh, good, good job on the You're feta doing amazing job. I'm only putting a little feta because I know you really don't love feta that much. How so gorgeous this is. I just put a little in it there. Looks feta, feta makes it better. I'm a little far away from the chips, though, for quality control. Allison, thank you oh, so much. Thank you for having me. What great insights. And this pretty much will work no matter your recipe. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Just keep it simple. Exactly. In there. And, and talk. Have those conversations. Have the conversations. For all the information on A Taste of Therapy, we'll post a link on our show website, wtvr.com slash VTM. And you'll find the recipe there, too. I feel so much better about our relationship I now. I do, too. Good job. Uh, thank Good you, job. sweetheart.